guys this week I'm going to share something which is very close to my heart and very very personal like most of us I absolutely love baking but I share this hobby with my family and few of my very close friends the cake decorating that I am sharing with you all today was made for a very special couple that is very close to my heart I'm breaking down the making of this cake in three parts. Part one is the baking and the cooling. There's no specific recipe to go by. You can use any kinds of cakes, any flavors, anything that you like. I used a brownie, a red velvet, and a white cake. So just bake your cakes according to the recipe. I used the toothpick method here to make sure that my cakes were baked through and through and give your cakes enough time to cool down before we start assembling. Now as you can see, I don't usually level my cakes and that's just because I'm super lazy. I just make sure that the decoration takes care of all of the different irregularities. Now let's move on to part two, which is making cake pops. Now to make cake pops at home, all you need is cake crumbs or muffin crumbs like I am using with a little bit of icing. I had some leftover muffins. I had baked lemon muffins, cranberry muffins, and obviously red velvet muffins. My favorite part about baking at home is that I can personalize it however I want with whatever I have. Part 3 is the final assembly of the cake. I used vanilla, hazelnut and chocolate flavored wafers on the sides and our beautifully decorated cake pops on top and I finished the look with a white ribbon. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. I will try my best to answer them. I will be sharing a bunch of the pictures and cake cutting videos on my Instagram. I will link that down below. Don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel. As always, be fearless, be brave.